I didn't know that the design industry actually put so much like effort and thought behind the littlest things but had like such great effect towards them which was really nice to find out. At the start of today they were rounding everyone up and we had a group assembly to have a little quiz on what we already know about well just manufacturing and what we're here to do at at this place. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Davis. I am the lead HRBP here for Steelcase in our London office. So the purpose of today is to introduce Steelcase and this industry to the young people who may be curious about career, building their career, what that looks like in the future. A lot of stuff in, in this workplace I've never seen before. Like adjustable chairs, no, adjustable desks, stuff like that. Just crazy to me. We started off with a tour around the building. We went downstairs to see the furniture they had, all the items they created. We saw how they put in ingenuity, how they used different like techniques to make everything efficient and customer happy. There was like this like isolation room. Like it was just like there was like a hole and then a desk. And I say the, the chairs are really, really comfortable because you know they recline, and also like the the armrests they also move depending on how you want to sit and what you want to do. I think the office office design is like the best I've ever seen. Like it's it's really nice, and um, I think yeah it reflects that they're well they're good at what they do um, designing workspaces. You know it was nice seeing all the stuff they they created, all the stuff they manufactured. And it was very comfortable as well, I see. And like, you're never going to see this stuff again, really. So I think that was the best part. I think my favorite part of the day was when our guest speaker came in because he said some really inspirational words, which I took very to heart and it was very nice. The way he talked about like how he got into this sector and industry, like kind of gave us like um, options on like career paths and motivation. Even if you're like not, you know, good at a particular skill, give you like still ways to get in. I think I like that the most, and like how he showed his like work, yeah. like what you could be expected to like do in the future. In learning about like the different ways people got into the job, like for example, Scott did it through just you know working for his auntie, and then he's into like you know all this the designer stuff. My name is Fitzroy Godfrey. I'm an interior designer, but. I was trained as a furniture designer. I think I'm a creative and I've learned to be able to communicate and talk about creative things really and my creative points of view. If you can apply yourself to whatever you're doing right now, just do well at that and enjoy. Find the enjoyment doing that. They rounded us up, put us in groups and we went into separate rooms and they made us do some own, some of our own ideas, implement what they've taught us into our own platform to create our own plans. And then after that was completed, we had an assembly and we compared ideas, we showed off and presented on what we did to everyone else here. One thing I've learned is um, for the importance of collaboration um, because the team working um, uh, activity I've learned that it's not always like good to just come up with ideas on your own sometimes it helps you unlock your ideas better by talking to other people I think that's the biggest thing I've learned uh, what I found hard was how we had to come up with a plan when we're doing group work basically we're following five aspects collaborating focus learning and socialization and rejuvenating my favorite, favorite one was probably rejuvenating because you could, there's a lot of stuff you could do to rejuvenate like sofas making them comfy or window, natural light, recent people's moods. Um, so our presentation was about how we could change an office to make it more suitable and more enjoyable for people who are focusing on what they're doing and our worker Scott, he actually um, guided us through our presentation and he um, was talking about how natural light would help um, people focus. We are so proud to be able to partner with Open Palm because the work that Open Palm do is amazing and the access they have with the schools. 
but it's all about building aspiration and, and making sure that they understand that there is a path and there are people who are willing and able to help, not just within their own personal network, but it's about reaching out beyond your network and asking questions, being brave and asking questions and being willing and open-minded, being willing to, um, to accept help when it comes to the different forms. Um, and we want to make sure that the kids go away understanding or understanding those guiding principles that can be applied in every single aspect of their lives. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, it was fun, uh, exciting, interesting, meeting new people. Yeah, it was fun. Realizing that human emotions and like normal activities play a role in like your daily, in like, your daily needs and daily thing. I'd say the most enjoying part about today was um, the skills that all the staff here has taught me, especially like um, thinking about how different things are suitable for different people and um, thinking about how things has, have changed over the years and how things are developing. Fantastic. And how would you rate your experience of today? Really good. Is it what you expected? Not really, no. It's really different. How would you rate today out of 10? Yeah, I wish it was longer. So I would say 8.7. Definitely a 10. All the activities that we've done were very enjoyable and we've learned very uh, valuable skills that I can take into the wider world. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I see. 10. Yeah. And that rounded up the day.